what do you do in the dead of winter in Toronto when the weather isn't cooperating? You go underground. A series of underground tunnels that connects 75 buildings, six subway stations, three department stores, City Hall, the Hockey Hall of Fame, and Toronto's busiest transit hub, Union Station. The path originated in 1900, when a store owner wanted to connect his two properties via tunnel. Today, there are more than 1,200 shops, restaurants, service companies, and entertainment attractions along the concourses. With an average annual rainfall of 32 inches in Toronto, the path is an ingenious way to get around while staying dry and warm. Another great place to walk around is the distillery district. The brick pedestrian streets were once traversed by horse-drawn carriages in the early 1800s, and it's like taking a step back in time. Opened in 2003, what you experience today in the distillery district is the result of a small group of forward-thinking developers who envisioned the 47 derelict Victorian-era buildings formerly the site of Canada's largest distillery, as a place where artists and entrepreneurs could rub shoulders and inspire each other. Hundreds of skilled tradesmen who understood the intricacies of working with 19th century timber, stone, and brick, repurposed original materials and seamlessly blended them with modern materials and today's technology. Here, Victorian industrial architecture meets 21st century design, and the result is a stunning transformation into an acclaimed dining, shopping, art gallery, and entertainment mecca. Paid parking is close by, but the district is free during opening hours. Not too far from the distillery district is St. Lawrence Hall, a historic building with graceful architecture where you'll find a farmer's market craft artisans, and many community activities. Once the home for Toronto's City Hall and Jail from 1845 to 1899, it has undergone many changes over the years, including being remodeled as a market in 1902. Open from Tuesday through Saturday, it earned National Geographic's 2012 title of World's Best Food Market. Now where is a market not an actual market? In Toronto's Kensington Market, which is really a multicultural neighborhood of quirky vintage shops and a host of culinary delights. Whatever type of ethnic restaurant you have a hankering for, you can probably find it in Kensington Market. Originally a Jewish enclave, families used to set up stands to trade goods outside their homes in the 1920s. Since then, it has become a compelling counterpoint to the bright, shiny side of Toronto and offers a shabby yet authentic cultural experience. We've covered a lot of ground today, but we're not done. On the next segment of Ms. World Traveler in Toronto, we'll visit a jewelry collective representing over 100 designers. Yes, all in the same space. I guarantee you'll see something pretty, so stay tuned.